Looks like the Detroit Lions have more than just one Swiss Army knife. Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. You already know what we do on this channel. We talk all things about your favorite team, the Detroit Lions, just without the extra fluff. So become part of the syndicate by hitting that subscription button and ringing that notification bell if you want to be notified of every Detroit Lions Syndicate video. The Detroit Lions had a plethora of deficiencies on defense last year. If I had to put them in order, I would say probably safe safety linebacker and then last but not least edge rusher while we didn't have the best pass rusher core we had a, we had a lot of people go down we still managed to get some pressure on the quarterback and some sacks as well with the likes of charles harris austin bryant uh we even had michael brockers get in so we had those type of guys but i would have to say that our safety our secondary was probably our worst position, especially at that safety group. It looks like we might have another Swiss Army Knife type individual in that secondary. Second year cornerback, Ify Melifonwu. It has been coming out of Lions camp that Melifonwu might spend some time at safety this year. The second year third round pick might have to spend some time at safety. Him and defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn has talked about. Aaron said he always envisioned Ify Melifonwu as kind of like that Swiss Army Knife player. As a rookie, Melifonwu played primarily in nickel and dime packages as a slot cornerback, but he made his first career start at outside corner in a week two loss to the Green Bay Packers, and Glenn, the Lions' second-year defensive coordinator, touted Melifonwu's ability to play safety. Melifonwu kind of got that start because Jeff Okuda went down in that initial game against the San Francisco 49ers. So we had Amani on one side, and then we had to have Melifonwu, our third round pick, step up. And I think he had one of the tasks that he had was guarding Devontae Adams. He played very well in that first half, and I think he wind up going down in the second half with a hamstring injury. But Melifonwu, man, kind of really surprised us, stepped up, was able to play that outside corner when he needed to. But it looks like Melifon, who has spent the offseason kind of getting more acclimated to the position of safety, knowing that Aaron Glenn would probably like to use him there as well. AG and the coaches just asked me to try it. I'm a football player, so they kind of just want to put me at different spots, see what works, and just have versatility and know the other positions just in case if anything happens. So Melifon Wu looks like the player that will shift between both cornerback, which the Lions drafted him as, and safety. I see Melifon Wu bouncing between both position safety and cornerback. You've got Amani that's going to be the certified starter at cornerback for the Detroit Lions. And then we just drafted Kirby Joseph when it comes to uh, the safety position. We have Tracy Walker and Deshaun Elliott that we brought in. Kirby Joseph probably won't be too far behind, but this is early offseason. We still have training camp, and Kirby Joseph could have the starting job by the time the season actually rolls around. So Melifonwu could fit in there as well, so he can go between corner and safety. I think it's awesome that Melifonwu has that versatility that he can be used at either position. Melifonwu, a third-round pick last spring, said playing a combination cornerback safety role has always been in my head. Multiple NFL teams talked to him about moving to safety, where his brother, Obi, played five seasons for four NFL teams during the pre-draft process. Melifonwu said he takes pride in the coaches figuring out, hey, where he needs to go based on the matchup. So if it's a cornerback matchup like a Devontae Adams, then they can place him there, or he can be placed in as safety. Either way, it doesn't matter to him. Melifonwu spent the early part of the offseason refining his technique with a primary focus on staying healthy, which is something we like to see from all of our players. But the second-year player that shows a lot of initiative trying to refine his technique and see where he can get better on the field. I feel like it was a lot of watching film, self-correction, like watching myself, even going back to training camp one-on-ones, in-season one-on-ones. And then I had a cut-up made just of me, my press reps, my man-to-man -man coverage reps. So it was a lot of just focusing on me and my technique. I'm going to tell you what, Melifonwu was a pleasant surprise to have in that secondary. Seeing second-year player at the time, Jeff Okuda, go down, we needed somebody to step up and be that number two outside corner. It was a shame to see him go down with that quad injury. Then we had uh, Jerry Jacobs have to step up. Parker had to step up. We had a lot of holes back there in that secondary. But I'm excited to see if Emelifon will kind of a, a sleeper third-round pick come in and 
play, whether it's safety or a corner. I think he's going to excel, man. It was a pleasant surprise to have him and see his progress. And with him refining his technique and working on trying to stay healthy, I'm sure he will contribute even more this year. And maybe our secondary won't be the weakest position on our team like it was last year. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. New month, new goal. We hit our May goal of 3,000 subscribers, 3,500 subscribers. Now we're in the month of June. Let's see if we can get to 4,000 by July 1st. To all my returning viewers, I appreciate you. Without you, we can't get this content out for new folks to see. So if you are a returning viewer but not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. All my new viewers as well, Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you like what you see and come back to see more. Just like Ify Melifondu takes pride in being able to switch positions, I take pride in getting you your Detroit Lions content without the extra fluff. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.